Hi everyone, Will from Project BRZ here. Today I thought I'd give you an update on the car entertainment system that I've installed into the BRZ in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it consists of a Sony XAV712BT head unit. I haven't done anything in terms of speakers and amplifiers because it's not going to be about music in this car. I've uh, also got a Xperia Z2 smartphone which you can see over crank this camera around you can see it over there sitting in the corner and then um, I've got this carbon fiber dash trim as well which I've installed now that's just a fascia that actually sort of rests over the top of the well sticks on over the top of the factory fascia there um, and what that does is it gives you a um, 180 millimeter width standard double din size pocket rather than the 200 mil Toyota size so it just gives it a nice finish inside the car. Now the unit itself, the reason I chose it is because it has what's called mirror link, which is a really, really cool technology that allows you to mirror the content of the screen of your mobile phone onto the, um, onto the screen of the head unit. But more than that, it also allows you to use the, the head unit to control the phone as well. So let me jump out to the main menu and I will show you what I mean. So we go to mirror, mirror link. And you can see there that the um, the screen of the phone there is now on the screen of the, um, the device. So we can uh, we can scroll through the various different pages, see what's going on. We can even do things like going to Facebook, use um, use Google Maps if you want to. Now this unit actually has navigation built in as well, but um, you can use Google Maps if you wish to. You can even go into your email or Facebook or watch YouTube videos if you wanted to and all the sound from the phone comes through the speakers of the head unit as well. Now the main reason I wanted this was because you can see here I've got all of my gauges all digital and all displayed on the head unit so I don't have to have a separate tablet or anything like that installed. I've got lateral and longitudinal g-force here just for fun air fuel ratio, coolant temperature, throttle position, vacuum or boost level and you can add and customize whatever you want as well. If you go to the next page, I've got a pitch and roll meter there just for fun. And um, then quarter mile times, all those kinds of things. And there's even a page there with emissions stuff as well. But you can add and change whatever you want. You can also go back to the main menu if you wanted to. You guys probably know how, um, how talk works anyway, but you can clear fault codes and read fault codes from the ECU. All those kinds of things all from here, which is really, really cool. Now one other thing that I really really like about being able to use Mirrorlink with this head unit is that you can also use your music player from your mobile phone as well. So Spotify for instance is what I use and that works brilliantly. And I've got this Sony wristband thing which I just got the other day. Now what it allows you to do is control music playback on your phone am amongst other things of course. But because I'm using Mirrorlink I can actually control the music playback in my car right from my wrist as well. So all I need to do is just press the button on the side and then just tap it and that starts the music playback. I can tap it three times to go backwards or I can tap it twice to skip a track. And just tap it again to stop the music. So that's all I had to show you today. I just wanted to quickly take you over a couple of the features that I really love about this new head unit that I've put in. I'll do another video later on showing you all of the features of the head unit amongst other things. But hopefully this has been an interesting video for you and it's shown you kind of what I've been doing with the car and kind of the direction that I've taken with it. So yeah, I hope you found it interesting and like and subscribe as always and I'll see you next time.